A few things to mention before we get started with this video. Normally, this is not a video that I would make. It's really just not worth the time, in my opinion. There are other topics that are more important to cover on this channel than something that's really just kind of some drama related to a video I made. Now, that said, I am making this video because I will be away at Anime Matsuri this weekend. And I really need topics ahead of time to schedule in advance, to record in advance and schedule to release on my channel while I'm out of town. It's important as a creator, especially one like myself who makes daily videos, to not go too long without making content. Now, as a channel that mostly covers news at the moment, it's difficult to sometimes make content ahead of schedule because, well, you don't really know what the news is going to be in the future, <laughs> necessarily. Uh, sometimes you kind of might have an idea, but you guys know what I mean. So I'm making this video simply because I really needed a topic to have released over the weekend. I have a few other videos I pre-recorded as well, but I needed more. So that's what I'm doing in this video. Now, I also want to say, I'm not going to show any of the uh, names from the people who are attacking me because I don't want anyone to go after them or anything like that. Just because they're going after me doesn't mean I want anyone going after them. It's unfortunate that these people get so upset over things that they really shouldn't let affect them in that way. But I don't really think that they are bad people per se. I just think that they are very easily influenced and they let their emotions get way out of control. With that said, I am being targeted and attacked by this, this weird group of uh, people. I, don't, I can't call them Ruby fans because they're really not Ruby fans. They call themselves the Beavengers. And what these people do, basically, they, uh, if, if you don't ship Bumblebee, well, let, let me, let me uh, make a caveat first. These people don't seem to really enjoy Ruby or even like the show or really, yeah, they don't really seem to like Ruby. They seem to only care about the show because they want to see the ship Bumblebee between Yang and Blake. That's the ship Bumblebee. You probably know that, though. They only want to see that come to fruition. So these so-called Beavengers, if you don't like Bumblebee, and by the way, I'm a Bumblebee shipper and I do like Bumblebee and they still come after me anyways. While I ship Bumblebee, I do have a problem with the current ship between Blake and Yang. It doesn't feel like the Bumblebee that we had before. The chemistry that we had in like volume one, two, three between Blake and Yang, that's gone. That's gone. The cute chemistry where Yang was kind of the fiery one with the jokes, but could also get serious and care for Blake like we saw back in volume two in, in that classroom scene. And Blake being the more studious one, serious one, but also having that affectionate side to have with Yang. That good chemistry is no longer there. If you like Bumblebee, they still might come after you if it's an example like mine. It's really weird. Basically, these Beavengers are coming after me. Ridiculous name, I know. Uh, let me show you what's going on. So these Beavengers have had plenty of problems with me uh, going on for many months now. Uh, and they, they have attacked me already like multiple times and I've never made a video on it because as I said in the intro, there's just more important things and it really doesn't bother me that much. I just needed content for this weekend. That's why I'm covering it this time. But now they're coming after me because of the Jello video. So really quick, if you don't know, there was this video called, so this, so, so this is basically Ruby from this YouTuber named Jello something and a uh, very funny little parody video that pokes fun at the show in a very respectful and cute way. And I thought the video was really good, but a lot of the fandom, although I don't think those people are really fans. So a lot of the, I'll, I'll say some of the fandom and a lot of the Beavengers got upset with that video. And uh, when I made a video calling them out, you know, basically saying like, why are you guys getting mad about a little joke video? I wasn't even really calling them out so much as I was trying to basically say like, don't get so upset over a little joke parody video. It's not a big deal. Well, those people took more of an issue. It's like my plan backfired. I was trying to teach these people to calm down and just enjoy life. And instead they got even more upset. Take a look at this one dude, writes, it's hilarious as heck how people, oh, and let me make a quick disclaimer. I am going to censor myself because this person uses so much profanity. It would probably get me dinged on the back end of YouTube. And I'm not trying to get dinged just because this person can't actually express themselves without sounding like a little child. So I'm gonna censor myself. It might be a little annoying, but that's why. And you can see the full text here, though, if you're watching the video. I know some people are audio only, kind of listening to it while you do work or something. And that's totally cool. Anyways, let's get started. So it reads, It's hilarious as heck how people like Hirohei B-I-T-C-H about everyone else's issues with things when a large portion of his S-H-I-T is taking issues with other S-H-I-T. If anyone is a sensitive snowflake, it's your A-S-S. I think I may have said sensitive snowflake in that video. I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, make a lot of videos, you know, uh, but 
I do think that's what I said, and that's why he's putting it in, like, you know, quotations or whatever. So let, let's take it from the top, though. Says that it's hilarious that, you know, I'm complaining about people at BITCH about stuff when a large portion of my stuff is complaining about people taking issues with things, right? So here's the difference. When I make a video complaining about the way something might be going on, I am very calm, respectful for the most part, provide evidence and facts backing up what I'm saying. And in general, though I might criticize something, it's actually very beneficial to that good or service, that company, to receive that feedback. Because my feedback, like I said, is almost always backed with evidence and facts. It's not anywhere close to what you're doing, which is simply complaining and getting all worked up and not having any evidence, any facts, and just having a lot of outrage and, you know, mad language, dude. Big difference. Continuing on, says, also go F yourself with this idea that volume five through six damage slash ruined Yang. It says, it says for me to go F myself, dude. This guy's so mad. It's crazy. Uh, so it says volume five through six damage slash ruined Yang. They raised her character. Well, I don't know what this person means by they raised her character. I mean, Yang used to be a really interesting character. She used to like want to find what happened to her mom. She used to kind of make up as the parental figure for Ruby because Ty was, you know, not really all that active, I'm assuming. He's kind of been reclusive since all that stuff went down. You know, Crow's there at times, but he's busy on missions. Summer, you know what happened to her. So Yang really was put into a parental role. So Yang used to be like this great, you know, sister and kind of a parental figure to Ruby, caring about her younger sister, making the puns here and there, uh, curious about what happened to her mom and all that. So like Yang had some dimension to her. Now she just feels like a hollow cutout of the character we used to have. The, the character that is called Yang now doesn't feel like Yang. Uh, Yang back then was actually pretty respectable, as I said, caring for her younger sister, becoming a huntress, trying to figure out what happened to her mom and why she left, etc, etc. The Yang now just likes to complain about stuff. Literally, just likes to be angsty and complain about stuff. And she tries to impress people around her, which is a very immature mindset. She went from being, like, somewhat mature, even though she would joke around, to just being downright selfish and immature. And a lot of people agree with that. I mean, there's tons of people who are fans of Yang that, that aren't anymore. Then says, crawl back into your hole, little obnoxious ASS clown. Says, FTR, I've seen the dumb ASS jello vid. Not only is it not valid criticism, but it gets several things wrong. It's just another example of someone talking out their ASS. Buddy, you are literally talking out your ASS right now. You say it got several things wrong, and you don't point out what that is. What did it, what did it get wrong? Why is it not valid criticism? You don't explain why. You are literally talking out your ASS. And it's so ironic because you, you claim that Jello is doing that, but you're really... You're the one doing that. Pathetic, man. Come on. Come on, buddy. Get with it. Then goes on to say, Yang used to be cool. Now she's just an angsty weirdo. In quotations, again, I think I may have said something along those lines. Seems about right, to be honest. Then he, he writes, congrats, dumb ASS. You completely failed to understand her effing character. Once again, go F yourself, ASS clown. Okay, why is this person nonstop talking about ASSs? Like, really? Um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to shame anybody for what they're into, but this dude is on a public forum making multiple like posts in a single thread using the word ASS like multiple times in each post. A bit weird, to be honest. I think you need to calm down a little bit. But okay, I already talked about Yang. I don't need to comment on this one. Let's move on. Also, RT hasn't butchered anything, dumb ASS. Wow, there we go again. Also, RT moving Ruby to their site from YouTube has do with YouTube's policies in regard to ad revenue, something I find mind-boggling that your piece of SHIT ASS doesn't get. So tired of this moron's takes. Let's start with the, the last part there. So tired of this moron's takes, yet this person willingly goes out and watches my videos and then complains about them on social media. This is a perpetuation of toxic mindset. This person literally goes out of their way to willingly put themselves in an environment that upsets them, and they willingly do that. And then they complain about it in social media, so they get their little points in their little, in their little group. It's so toxic, man. You have, I mean, I would hope that you have better uses for your time than what you're doing right here. I, I would really hope so, but I don't know. And then taking it from the top, says, also RT hasn't butchered anything, dumb ASS, also RT moving Ruby to their site from YouTube has to do with, has, has do with YouTube's policies. So I don't know what this person is trying to say about Rooster Teeth and Ruby and why they moved off YouTube to Rooster Teeth. That is absolutely a discussion I could have with anybody. Completely understand why they did it. And I can, uh, you know, even provide my antidotal evidence as a creator and how YouTube actually functions. But I don't know what this dude said. It's, it's very unclear. So I'm not even going to assume what he meant. I'm just not going to comment on it. Uh, but yeah, the, the thing is Jello and myself have provided and a number of other people as well, but I'm referencing Jello myself because that's what this person's upset about right now. We have provided very valid criticism to Rooster Teeth and we've backed it up with evidence 
Here's a reference from Ruby for you. Remember Ublik said, if you don't learn from history, you're destined to repeat it or something along those lines. We are giving Rooster Teeth actual hard data and criticism that's backed by evidence. There are examples of successful companies out there that turned into unsuccessful companies because they made very obvious mistakes. And those mistakes are being made as we, by, as we speak by Rooster Teeth. They can learn from this and get better. And that's all we wanna see. But people like this guy think that RT is like the most amazing company in the world. And that's actually a huge disservice to RT. They can improve, they can do better. I know they can. This person doesn't wanna see them succeed apparently though. Okay, so this next part is a whole different set. We finished that one dude's rant, now we're moving on to something else. So this other person makes a post and says, me, finally lunch break, let's watch some YouTube. YouTube, I guess apparently recommends my video here. That is indeed my thumbnail. That is indeed my video with 48K views in two days right there. And then they write, can we stop talking about this? What the carp? So this person, the irony here, obviously you guys get it, wants to stop talking about it, takes a picture of my thumbnail, posts it on Twitter, and then gets more people to talk about it. Really bad way of getting people not to talk about it, but thank you for the free promotion, I guess. Then someone said, he said he was done with Ruby, but I guess he couldn't help but milk the situation for views. Uh, well, not quite. I never said I was done with Ruby. Never said that. I said I was taking a step back from it. I won't cover it as much as I used to, but I still plan on covering it. That's pretty much what I said. This person is literally spreading false information. That's a total lie. Someone else said, or maybe it's the same person originally said, so did Floof artists didn't stop him from continuing to be a D-O-U-C-H people in the fandom. They talk about Floof a little bit here and I don't want to bring Floof into this, so we're going to skip that. Then Random Fandom, my homie, very active person in our community. I will actually leave a link to their profile if you guys want to see this whole Twitter thread. You can go show some support to Random Fandom, maybe give them a follow, that sort of thing, if you guys want. Of course, you don't have to. You guys can do whatever you want but I'll leave a link to Random Fandom's Twitter page down there so you can check him out and you can check this whole thread out if you want. I'm not gonna cover the whole thread in this video. There was like 30 responses, uh, like yeah, some, somewhere around that. So we're not gonna go through the whole thing, just some of the highlights. So Random writes, no, you are wrong. Floof wasn't forcing anyone, anything, and neither is Hero. Hey, if anything, y'all are. Someone responds, my point about making an unneeded video for views, I told you that. Then Random said, who died and crowned you king of YouTube? The uh, raging person then said, no one, doesn't mean I can't call it like I see it. The video didn't need to happen. <laughs> Love how this person like tells me how to run my channel, says the video didn't need to happen. Excuse me, dude. Uh, apparently it was worth it. It's got almost 50K views in two days. People are enjoying the video. I like that people are enjoying the video and I enjoyed making the video. So yeah, you know what? The video did need to happen. <laughs> you, don't get to, you don't get to decide that, I'm sorry. He was being hyperbolic for views. Only a handful of people were complaining about that video. So I think he's com he's complaining about the fact that I put half in my title, which I put quotation marks around. And guess what? In in grammar, in proper grammar, which I'm struggling with right now because I've had too much coffee, but in proper grammar, you can put quotation marks around a word to show that it's dubious con context. So when I put quotation marks around half, it's because it's not, it's not probably, it's probably not really half. That's why there's quotation marks there. This person somehow completely missed that, probably because they were so blinded by their own rage. Random says, okay, and what is your point? Is there a problem with that? And then they say, no, there isn't a problem with only a handful of people complaining about Jello's vid. Glad you can see my point. This person then completely straw mans random fandom right there. So this person is number, like, three huge mistakes right here. Number one, they uh, don't understand what the parentheses are for in the title. They don't understand, like, the grammar behind that. They also don't understand that they can't dictate who can do whatever they want like this person's trying to police what people do and now they are trying to straw man an argument do, literally using a logical fallacy horrible horrible approach random says okay so what is the problem with jealous vid and then this person writes i never said there was well i did have a few minor issues but nothing to be too mad about the issue isn't that hero hey liked the video or he's defending it it's the fact that he feels like he needed to make a video calling out half the fandom on this when it's only a handful so that person continues on for like literally 20 more posts of just complaining about my video honestly as i already said i can't believe these people use their time in such an unproductive way it's really quite sad that they just willingly go out watch things that upset them and then cry about it online or maybe they don't even watch it i don't know point is they just cry about stuff all the time here we are having a good laugh out of it it's just entertainment you know some some of the topics we cover on this channel are downright serious, 100% serious, nothing to joke around about. Some of them are completely 100% not serious and a total joke, and that's pretty much what this video is. As I already said, I only had to make this because I'm gonna be out of town. Sorry to put you guys through this. If you watch this video though, I hope you enjoyed this one, and be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you did. Subscribe if you're not, 
turn the notification bell on as well and consider joining our discord server link in the description open to the public now with over 3,000 members and of course twitter instagram also down there in the description and if you'd like to do a bit extra to support this channel and the content that we are creating here consider becoming a sponsor over on patreon and that's about it for this one guys thanks again i do hope you enjoyed and more serious content coming up when i get back in town